Ugh. I'm alive. I'm born. I'm free. Is this what it tastes like? It burns. I'm your brother. I'm your brother. I'm your brother. Oh, this is too much. I don't like this. Pull me back. Pull me back. I'm not done. That's, you know, that's how I'm opening the stream tonight. Happy birthday to me. Uh, welcome, everybody. Welcome to the stream. If uh, if you're joining tonight, you know that tonight is uh, trash day. But if you watched a certain episode of television not that long ago, then you realize that you've already seen trash. So I'm just going to add to the pile. Welcome to Sunday stream. Tonight I have some fun things for you. I have um, PC CD-ROM game, including um, Gigglebone, which is the same uh, people that brought you We Make the Pants. Now let me remind you, I, I don't know if you've heard this enough, so I'm going to play a little bit of it for you. We make the pants. Remember? We it? make the pants. Oh yeah. That's right. We That's make right. the feedly, fidly, fodly, fancy pants. Oh yes, we do. That that person has been shot more times than I can count. But uh, no, we've heard that more than enough. And it turns out there's more games from these people. <sighs> Just as we forget, there's more. So we're going to start with that, and then Elmo 64 games. Oh, yeah. And then after that, uh, grab bag garbage. So we're going to have a, a, like a, a real trashy night tonight. Um, so Giggle Bone Gang Saga. A lot of saga. Alpha Bonk Farm we'll start with. These aren't as fleshed out as um, Pennsylvania, but they are, pretty, they are pretty trashy from what I understand. Um, thanks to sphinx or maybe not thanks no thank you to sphinx great sphinx for getting these set up for me alpha bonk farm yeah cd-rom game okay <laughs> Why is it so goddamn loud? Don't forget you want to use the Windows key instead of Alt-Tab. Oh fuck, too late. Picture show, alright, alright. Hang on a minute. Um, yeah, so this is edutainment again from the giggle- Oh, it's that fucking frog again! Ah, good choice! Whoa, good choice! Yeah! Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Just click on that truck so we can go play. Yeah. Oh, was this frog really that good? Um, <laughs> hey, hey, hi. <laughs> you want to play with Bungie and Clyde? Yeah, click over here. Oh, come on. It's okay, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, but why did they bring the frog back after all this time? Um, <laughs> shut up. Ah, good choice. Whoa, good choice. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Just click on that truck Stop. so we can go play. Yeah. What, what truck? Where's it? Is there's Oh, at the top. The truck. Well, now that's a good letter. You want to go there with Velma and me? Or with Bungie and Clyde? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, now that's a good letter. You want to go there with Velma and me? Or with Bungie and Clyde? Uh, yuck. So this is already terrible. Um, well, now, don't be. Don't be what? I have to turn the YouTube stream off. You're going to have to bear with me a minute. What a way to celebrate one's birth. Well, now that's a good letter. Every you letter. You want to go there with Velma and me? Or with Bungie and Clyde? I just want this dude to be like, that letter's not as good. Click over here, amigo. Well, now that's well, a good letter. Now. You want to go there with Velma and me? Or with Bungie and Clyde? 
Here we go! Whenever you want to stop and play with us, just click that mouse of yours and we'll pop up. Whee now, now, there's no way to skip the dialogue, so I'm pretty much locked into... Let's just wait a sec till the stuff is set up, okay? Huh? You don't need to load. It's fine. It's There's no loading. It's it's all Vanilla on an SSD. Cream can come straight from the cow. Uh -huh. But Vicky is the only cow who knows how. She eats all her veggies with vigor and vim, then squirts velvet cream with a vivacious... Shut the fuck up. Whoopee! Winnie and shout! Workhorse Wally is wiggling out. He's oh, warbling God. and whistling. So George wow, Carlin and is going to have to be overlaid over this. Shut the fuck up! Nilly. Shut the fuck X up! Marks the spot. Exactly on the dot. So don't stand around perplexed. Now, explore and expose the axe. Across the yard, the yokels yell. Yokels. Then they knock and yank the bell. Are you but learning yet? All the yank. And yoo-hoo! Yeet. The yellow watchdog. Oh, he takes a snooze. <laughs> it's zero work. <laughs> they didn't even no use X words no before. Sex. Amazing. Just plant the seeds and get some rest. Zip, they sprout, and zoom, they bloom. Till a zillion zucchini crowd the rest. Stop. Um, okay. I can take it to play poke and prod, you know. And I've got a funny rhyme, Rock! Luckily, this isn't all that's in the CD-ROM crust pack. It's not just Giggle Bone Gang. Zip Zoom. Everybody knows the rules, but um, they may as well just use Exhibit as an example of X-words. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, gotta wait for one second Get out of here. my face! Yeah. You're too close! <laughs> You can see it like the farm was cut out of the background with the sky attached. Click on my belly, and we'll meet some really zany characters. Now go ahead, it's gonna be fun, and you can all keep in touch. Stop. Stop. Um. Well, no, no, no. We have to. Well, wait a minute. Wait a sec until they get everything ready. Where's the alcohol? Happy birthday to zany farm. So watch your step, or you could get zoinked. Click on my belly, and we'll meet some really zany characters. I'm just upset so that ahead. I had to see it's this frog again. And hear you this can always voice. give him back to me. I usually if like you don't frogs. I'll tell you what, this is not the frog on Scoot's shirt. Um, what do we do here, zany? Um, 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 the chicken. What do you get when you cross it with another animal? Let's see. Are we doing chimeras now, frog? Are you some kind of scientist? Zigzag bag. That makes things zigzag, you know. Yep. Are we doing just Z letters? Because the chicken is not a Z letter. Hmm, a zapper. Watch out, zapper. they can zap. Oh, oh, look at a uh, zipper. <laughs> uh, I hate, I hate this rug. A zoom mobile. Whoa, that'll make things really zoom around. We make the pants. The That's dog. Right. Can the, you no, make a zebulu? Listen. That's a dog frog, you know. Listen, asshole. Z dog is not a Z word. Listen to me. You, you, you can't just put... D did they get a photo of a dog taking a dump and just cut it out and throw it in the game? The frog. No! Hey, hey, another frog. Hey, far out. Hoo-hoo. The cow. Can you cross it with a pig? Zygu. Oh for my you. god. Are you more <laughs> 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 the thing they they did the voice. They did the the effect. Uh wait, are all these combinable? Nope. 
<laughs> so they just like, well, I guess it, it's electrocuting the zipper. It's just, you can't do it. Oh no, it's just electrocution. It's just straight up electrocution. <laughs> they got lazy. What? Oh, because the, the dog zigzags. Hi, Azul. Zool? Cow plus, is, plus dog equals Zool? That doesn't work. Only Zool. Whoa! Zoink fluid. <laughs> that stuff will really mess you up. Whoa, look out. Yow! It's not even real. It's, it's not even real, frog. What are you teaching me? What are you teaching me? I thought I was done with the pig. All this okay. shit. Well, that's all I've got to give. I can't believe you made a zibzu. Zibzu. But 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 frog plus pig does not equal zibzu. You're just making up words. You can't make up words. It's not zip zoom. Zwooper. Phew. Zwheel back. Oh, you made a Zambino. <laughs> Cockadoodle uh, moo. <laughs> Cockadoodle moo. Uh, so, so long. Um, Zim, childish well, Zambino. Prog, no, Zildish you know. Zambino, everybody. Rock. What do you got for me, bird? Take me away it's from the frog. Zero work. No zing, no zest. Just plant the seeds and get some rest. Zip, they sprout, and zoom, they bloom. Zip, zoom. Until a zillion zucchini crowd the room. Look out. X. Um, I can take you to play poke and prod, you know. And I've got a funny rock. All right, hey, frog, hey, take uh, me. You clicked on poke and prod, you know. Oh, yeah, boy, I know. Me. Just just do your fucking evil deeds. Hey, you can wait with me while things get ready. <laughs> Welcome to the X-Ray Lab. <laughs> you can take X-rays on this machine, you know. Yep, click on my belly, and I'll give you some patience. Here is a patient. Drag him or her. Yes, I don't really know if it's a him or her, but drag him behind this machine. <laughs> Click on the x-ray again <laughs> to see something even funnier. <laughs> it's funny? Are we, we're, we're having funny? Well, <laughs> Why is this cat Looks pregnant? like that cat ate a little duckling. <laughs> oh. Hey, hey, see if you can set it free. That's weird, frog. <laughs> no! That's messed up, dude. How did it get in there? Whoa, a big bull. He's full of it. What is that like, <laughs> one uni utter? It like just hangs down, it drips down. What the fuck is going on with this game? Benny, that's its penis. Why is the penis in the middle of its stomach? Chat. Oh my god, is it? Is it really? Oh, fucking hell. Did you know that sometimes bulls have magnets in their stomachs? Yep, uh-huh. Yeah, go on. Click again. That's uh -huh. not the only thing they have in, in their stomachs. What's inside that pig? I bet I don't, you I don't think I want to know, frog. Pig is gone. Oh, uh, these magpies, they like to swallow shiny stuff. Yep, uh-huh. Hey, looks like this guy gobbled down a watch. <laughs> Someone just what? said, how much do I have to donate to charity to make you play something else instead? It's funny you should say that. Because I may save one of these for charity. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. We'll just have to see. We get less donations than any other year because of this frog, I would imagine. 
Bzz. Hey, ever wonder how a cow's stomach? No, I haven't. I really haven't wondered <laughs> you know, about any um, of this. Cows have four stomachs. Yep. Well, three. Hey, a frog. That's you. You're a frog. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Look at those yummy flies. Oh, oh, I, I want them. Look, oh. What if what if we did a thing where what if we did a thing where if if um charity stream comes and I'm doing my my streaming and I say if we don't reach a certain amount of donations I will play another giggle bone gang game and you have to donate to to stop me There's got to be something we can do. Touch, okay? How do we turn this into a good thing? There's got to be a way to turn a mistake um, into a miracle. I can take it to play Pokemon, right? God, you know. And T. Click on me to hear a rhyme. Click on me to seek and find. <laughs> okay. You clicked on Clyde. Ah, good going. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, let's wait here while they hide Why everything. are you so close to me? I just zoom. Oh, this is that Photoshop filter. Tree frog. Tree frog. Turnips. Turnips. Tack. Tack. Tomato. Tomato. Toolbox. Toolbox. Thistle. Thistle. Turtle. Turtle. I found a game I'm good at, finally. It only took nine years. Whoa, that's cool, bird. How about another game, amigo? Yeah! <laughs> How about we just quit while we're behind? You come back soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Click on me to hear a rhyme. I don't Click know, on... frog. You're not telling me on these rhymes. Thomas tinkered with a tractor till it ran about ten times faster. Woo! It tore off through the turnip rows up and nearly... Okay. J, click on me to hear V, click on me. Vanilla ice cream can come straight from the cow. Uh, e. Oh, hey, <laughs> you clicked on me, Bungie. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's busy, busy, busy here at the big E factory. That's the frog e wants to egg, lay baby you know. eggs. Uh, <laughs> Want to do a little egg work? <laughs> click on my belly. Ah, oh, come on, everybody does. And I'll also eat anything you give me back, you know. Even the things that you... <laughs> Rim it. <sighs> that okay. thing with the light bulbs, that's an incubator. Put this egg in there. How did you get that egg inside you, frog? Like... On the frying pan? Oh! <laughs> Wait. Um, Dude! Did you make that yourself? All right. All right, frog. <clears throat> Ribbit. I don't like that noise, frog. This can't be. We cannot touch. We cannot taint the charity stream with this. I won't let it happen. I just won't let it happen. It was a, it was a goose. Wait, can I cook the goose? Oh! Oh my god! So wait, the frog gave birth to a goose that I then cooked and fed back to the frog. Well, let me put some jello on it. Let me get it. In. <laughs> oh boy, that is rich, or something like that. Yep. It does. Uh, is this subverting your expectations, chat? A rabbit. Oof. That's Oof. a ribbit. It's a good thing they only turn into the leg portion. It's even the noises. The noises are like advanced splort dot wave. Right. 
ribbit. No, you can't actually cook them Ugh, in the oven. That's French and Can you eat a live duck? What do you mean you eat a live duck? That oh. is yummy in my tummy. Mm, mm, mm. That was a goose, but still. Bye. I gotta go catch bugs for my mom. Goose tartar. <laughs> I got a million zillion last week, <laughs> or something like that. Um, I can take it to play Pokemon. That's a. not. That's Click not. on me to hear a rhyme. No. Click on me. B. Um, I can take it to play Pokemon Prod, you know. Hey, hey there, friend. It's Pokemon Bunnies Prod and time. burps. Yeah. And I'm Bungie, you know. Yeah. Butterflies just and hurricanes. Wait a second till the stuff is set up, okay? All right. <laughs> boy, oh boy, we're at the bee farm. <laughs> nice pasture, huh? <laughs> you want to play with some <laughs> so it's really like cool Photoshopped things? In Just poorly. click on my belly. I love ah, it. it doesn't hurt. And you can give them back to me if you don't want them. Boy, games were amazing at this time. Hey! A boy on a bicycle. Can you make him fly? <laughs> <laughs> That's a butterfly. Can you catch her? Can you eat the boy on the bicycle? <laughs> Whoa, no! Wow. How did you make that? You did. It was a boy on a bicycle. My spirit is leaving my body. Woohoo! A bull! <laughs> Just ate the bull. I didn't even feed the bull to the frog. Hey, a branding iron. Try to... Those. Hi. <laughs> Wanna play some more? Okay, put some of this stuff back in my belly, and I'll give you other things, or uh, or something like that. Frog lost his color. Do you want to make me something else? You see that emaciated frog. Hmm. Let's put it in the sky. Oh boy, I'm really. Frog must consume before he could create more. <laughs> mm. Mm. Can you make me another one, please? Hey, 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 oh, a bale of hay. <laughs> oh, rip it. <laughs> Listen, we're just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to stop this. Bye. Oh, but you can come back. I don't mind. All right. Thanks. No, I'm good. Uh, um, any other letters chat is interested in? You know. And I've got a funny rhyme! C. Click on me to hear a rhyme. C uh -huh. is for cow. Uh, there's a lot of letters being posted in chat. I see a lot of Fs. I see some... Um, some Rs. <laughs> now this is really gonna dazzle your brain. Did you know that cows have four stomachs? Not only that, but after they swallow their food the first time... a scummy looking cow. They spit it back up and chew it some more. This is Grossology Farm Edition. I don't want to see this illustrated, though. I mean, we don't have to. We don't. Have to. No, we don't have to do that. Don't be a stranger. I'll try F. F. Is for foul. This game um, is foul. I can take it to play poke and prod, you know. Yeah, and sure. I, okay, <laughs> we get to poke and prod together. Oh, I think that's fantabulous. Yeah. Hey, let's wait here till the game's set up, okay? <laughs> oh, fabulous. We're at the F pond. F pond starts with F, you know. Yep. Click on my belly and we can start fishing. Okay. F stands for... Hey, a fisherman. Fishing. Click on him and see what he... That is a fishnet or, um, or something like that. Yep. Fishing for fishies. Don't make them feel Swimmy happy. fish. This is the anti-King Gizzard game.
Want to play some more? Okay. Yeah, let me feed the fishermen <laughs> to the frog. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna stop playing this in a couple seconds. But yeah, there's there's limited interactivity per thing. Frog is usually doing something disgusting and making things up on the spot. But yeah, they got a whole like 14 sound effects in this game and everything. A lot of voices though. Oh, they're going mental. This is why we need fishermen. Now who's gonna eat this firefly? <laughs> Fox, or or no, one of the firefly. fish. Oh, firefly! I can't, uh, I can't stomach so this frog fine. anymore. I just can't do it. I just can't do it. Sorry. Um, um I can take it to play. Let's quit. Oh, yeah. uh, if you wanna keep playing, click on us. But if you wanna say goodbye for now, go ahead and click on that red sign there. Where have you been this whole time, Mr. Farmer? Mr. Farmer's been hanging back, letting the frog do the heavy lifting, not doing any of the work on his farm, letting a fucking talking pig, frog, and bird conduct foul experiments. Okie dokie. Just click on my truck up there to get us going. But that's all you do? We did the truck already. Here we go! Whenever you want to stop and play with us, just click that mouse of yours and this we'll is the, pop up. Yeah, this is the thing. <laughs> Ants! Ants! Ant-Man! <laughs> Donkey! What are you doing in this game, donkey? B is for donkey. Oh, finally, he's doing some work. B is for dog. That's a good dog. That looks like a good pup. B is for donkey. D, 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 D is... D is for duckling. All right. A is for egg. <laughs> I thought she was going to say A is. All right, I've had enough of oh, this. Uh, if you want to keep playing, <laughs> no. click on us. So long, no. giggle bone gang. I'm good. <laughs> All right, so that's giggle bone gang alpha bunk farm. Uh, I don't know if I want to jump into. Why don't we take a break from the giggle bone gang for a minute and I move on to a different um game because i have some others too that, that are not just giggle bone nonsense um sphinx found some really amazing things really amazing let's check out tales of the wild zeep and that way we can take a break from the frog just momentarily some people know what this is I never heard of this, but this is another made up frog word, isn't it? Zeep.exe is invalid. We got live troubleshooting. Hang on a second. Uh, let's see. You can find it in the file explorer if you open the window. Uh, find it in the file explorer if you open the window. Headbone. Zeep. Hang on, let me open your chat. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. I'm going to get it. This game is a little cursed, clearly. Oh. Ring! Vinny, you need to go to the file explorer. <laughs> Why are you doing that? I don't, um, how do you how do you do that in in this? I can't find the file explorer. Close Zeep. 
with the small below the big in the upper left. Okay. I really have not done Windows 3.1 head bone. Huh. There we go. Um, your other. Oh, 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 wow. I clicked upper right. That's good. Well, I found it anyway, I guess, but north left applications. Hang on, we got this. We got this. Okay, applications. Object packager. Main, not applications. That's okay. That's all right. I appreciate the help. Main. There is no, where's the main? I see ion. Uh, Oh, this, this is, is a hell of a thing. Oh, I have to scroll up more. Wow. This is like a puzzle game in and of itself. File manager. Okay. And then uh, we've got file manager. Um, I don't know what all this crap is. This is what we, like... This is what I used in school when I was in grade school. They were like, oh yeah, Windows is easy. And But this is before I had a computer. D drive at the top. Okay, D. And then zeep.exe. Thank you, Sphinx. That's all right. That was an adventure. I like that. Brought back some memories. Crusty memories, but... 1-800-937-8555 Tales of the Wild Zeep 1-800 What was the other one? 8937 Every time I call one of these things, it's a porno line. America's hottest talk line. Guys, porn. hot ladies are waiting to talk to you. Press one now. It's porn. Ladies, to talk to interesting and exciting guys free, press two to connect free now. If we get bored, I mean, we have a number. I feel like every 800 number from back in the day is just bought by one porn company. Same message, too. Tales of the Wild Zeep. Choose a zip zinging tale. Um, well, we're gonna go to the first performance, I guess. Hi, this is John Porn. We would like to buy your 800 number. I am the owner of, um, of Porn Co. Industries. Wild Zeep's first performance. So, is this like a story game? Okay, well, we're starting with a splort. The Wild Zeep was starring in the local Zeep production of Romeo and Juliet. It was his first performance, but everyone was counting on him to make the play a hit. Uh, I'm already, I'm already <laughs> intrigued. You see, the Wild Zeep was talented in many ways and had made quite a reputation for himself. Uh, Hilda Drampit, the stern director, took him backstage look at these after every graphics. rehearsal to say, It's up to you, oh Wild Zeep, to make this play a smash. So what a name. the Wild Dram Zeep Pit. practiced his lines 23 hours every day it's for 23 days. It's just armpit rearranged with a D at the front. Wonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Oh, it's like the frog voice. It's almost as annoying as the frog voice. As he dragged his sleepy Zeep body home, the neighborhood Zeeplings followed, tugging on his sleeves, begging for his autograph. No. 
Listen, I don't want Zeep's autograph. I don't know who these people are. But I mean, I'm on the same level of celebrity as Zeep, and people want my autograph, so I guess stranger things have happened. Cried little Morris Mills. I've signed three autographs. With a Maybe tiny four. Two inch camera snapped photo after photo of him. That was some good lens flare we got trudge, there. Trudge, trudge, trudge. Twelve miles later. <laughs> the wild Zeep reached his extra soft ostrich feather bed with the cloud blossom pillows and had just begun to sip his favorite blackberry tea with lemon cream and honey when... Got some nice dose on that bed. That's a phone. That's about as good as I could do in the game Dreams. That would be my thing. I could make that. That's it. Oh. Oh, I actually had to click it. That's the first thing I've had to do to play this game. It was the Wild Zeep's great aunt Zelda, once removed, Zelda. calling from Alaska to give him some practical advice. Is that her? Of the 334 Zeeps with acting ability, Aunt Zelda was the top talent. Years ago, she had won fame and fortune through her act as a skydiver who saves a swan. It's just random things. Like, they just threw, like, they threw darts at a word board. It's similar to the Game of Thrones writers. This is lore, by the way. After Link Whatever saves Hyrule, Zelda doing, becomes an ant. And about to an unsufferable. <laughs> Aunt Zelda scolded. Uh. As an actor soon to make a smash hit, sleep should be your main concern. Every excellent actor needs at least 12 hours of sleep. Dreams she sounds like too. an excellent actor. Every good actor must have two zip-zinging dreams a day. Please! Aunt Zelda! Sighed the wild Zeep wearily. I was just this split second going to sleep and- Oh, wild Zeep, please forgive me. Interrupted Aunt Zelda earnestly. If nothing else, I do know how important sleep is to the budding actor about to make a smash. Maybe they should have made some of these things rhyme, like Zeep and sleep. It could have been a wild little bit Zeep more- snoozed off. Dr. Sushis. Phone in his sleep. <laughs> That's him, Dr. Sushis. <laughs> the next day, the wild Zeep leaped out of bed with far more zing and zip than he'd had in his life. To play Smash Brothers Tonight with Dr. Sushis. his first performance. I must say, a wild Zeep! The wild Zeep said to himself after pouring hot chocolate in his oatmeal bowl and oatmeal in his strawberry I tried to say flies. Dr. Seuss's. Or Dr. Seuss-ish. strange life indeed. Seuss-ish. That was a hell of a story Priscilla so far. Oh, the, god damn it, there's more! Wild Zeep's kitchen. Ready to make a smash hit? She sang out. The wild Zeep felt his neck prickle. His thumbs start twiddling and his head turn oddly heavy. Excuse me, Priscilla! The wild Zeep said politely. But I must run! This voice acting is questionable. Has, has anyone decided similarly that I, uh, the voice acting might be a little and questionable? Did he ever. That wild Zeep Not just me, right? down the ruddy road from his house, sped up an avenue here, Galloped down a street there, raced here, there, and everywhere. Thoughts of smash hits, fame, and fortune were scrambling up his brain. Why, I can't remember my own lines. Gasped the wild Zeep at mile eight. By mile seventeen, they finally he animated only something. One word in the third act. I don't like his legs. They just look like flesh bones. And at mile 20, the wild Zeep skidded to a stop, 
rested his heavy head on a large, cool white rock and fell fast asleep. Rhyme Zeep with sleep. You have it already. You could use it. I haven't had to press anything. Like Mortal Kombat 11 and Metal Gear Solid 4 combined with even less gameplay. Found asleep in the middle of the day. It looks like the much mentioned Wild Zeep. Two butterflies, Frida and Alfred, hovered above the Wild Zeep. Alfred is his butterfly heat. name for sure. Should we wake him? Asked Frida. I thought tonight was his great performance as Romeo. Uh, I thought I got away from the frog. The voice is still here. Awakened by the sweet voices of butterflies. Why, oh no? Asked Alfred curiously. You're not looking forward to your smash hit performance? Why is there so much smash of this? this smash hit that and fiddles reaps to all that splat. Oh, a real word. Cried the wild Z. How can my performance this evening be a smash hit before it's performed? I've never acted in public. Everyone from Mr. Rampage to the I got some scratch offs for my birthday. I'm gonna scratch them while this game's happening. I'll let you know. I'll let you know how they go. I can't remember my own lines. And talent? They talk about talent. I have no more talent than a spoon. Talent? Wild Zeke was just not. No talent! His head felt heavier still. Not true. Cried Frida. Win up to one million dollars. Bring on the Benz. Quite so. Agreed Alfred, who knew a thing to play a game about while I'm watching this game. In general, greatly appreciated the arts. Local streamer wins one million dollars live on stream. This calmed the wild zeep down a bit, and he asked the butterflies. Can you wondrously wing folk give me some advice for my first performance? Alfred and Frida looked at one another. Well, I hate the, uh, the scratch-off skunk. Just keep in mind that your act depends on what's inside the Wild Zeep and not what everyone out there expects or thinks of the Wild Zeep. Didn't win anything. All right, well, that was fun. Yes. Chimed in Frida. Forget about everyone out there and listen to your insides. Who needs money he when you have friends to and Zeep? And whispered something in what his did ear. What I miss? Much wisdom as you two. You remind me of my great grandfather Zeep, said the wild Zeep respectfully as the three headed toward the theater. He continued, Would you like some free tickets too? But, oh, Frida and Alfred had flown straight into his open mouth. <laughs> Sound design? <laughs> Butterflies the make car noises, don't they? When they, you know, when they fly, they beep. And started laughing, giggling, and guffawing. Butterflies tickle mightily when first swallowed. Oh. From deep and then you within can fly? the wild zeep, the butterflies sang to him. Don't worry about us. Good luck in your performance, and we'll see you afterwards. The butterflies flying inside you gate grant you the power of flight. Hilda Drampit, the stern director, pulled at his ear rumpled his hair and started lecturing him on Romeo. But the wild Zeep heard none of her words. He was not himself. There's a some moral here. Zeeplings hooted eat some butterflies if you forget your lines in a play. His friends and relatives chattered on and on about stardom. Zeep, fire up the grill, Zeep. But the wild Zeep was very far away. He was no longer the wild Zeep. Uh. <laughs> he was Romeo. As he strode <laughs> on stage, the lines flowed from his lips. I, I heard David Letterman as well, actually, yeah. Excellent. A superior acting job. Letterman's a Zeep, confirmed. Everybody was much impressed. And soon the theater was absolutely quiet, except for the voices of the actors. In pure gold, that while Verona by that name That's right, gold plus 
pressed they latinum. Shall no figure at such rate be That's set right. as that of true and faithful Juliet. Big improvement. That acting. Suddenly. No, you get it. He gasped with such force, <gasps> Alfred and Frida flew right out of his mouth. Congratulations! They cried. A splendid performance, and we had the best seats of all. The wild Zeep said gratefully. I could never have done it without you. I will always remember you. Take a bow. I think uh, the audience is probably applauding that the fact that butterflies could live that long inside someone's stomach, right? That's the moral. So the three friends bowed and bowed and bowed till the sun rose the next morning. But the the outcome of this takes away responsibility. You don't learn. They had star fruit pancakes and blackberry nectar. There's for no breakfast. character development. They slept well onto sunset. I expected Both better writing from George R. R. Martin. What the fuck? Need their 12 hours of solid sleep. And nobody would have ever guessed the wild Zeke had butterflies in his stomach the evening of his first performance. <laughs> oh, fuck you! Fuck you! That whole story for a punchline. That was come. That was Norm Macdonald's moth joke, but worse. This guy walks into a podiatrist's office and says, "Doc." I'm only going to check out one of these. Um, I, I, yeah, one more. We're getting one more. I'm going to skip through it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's see if it's any good. The wild Zeep swallows a cloud. It's like an always sunny intro. Like, what does that mean? I want to know. The morning the wild Zeep swallowed a cloud, his face turned gray, oh. his hair Wait white, a minute. and he You're not going to tell me how it happened? The treetops and began sailing west. Don't start with him having swallowed the cloud already. Tell me how it happened. Why is Zeep swallowing so much shit, by the way? I don't think I'm cut out for this. He said unhappily as a bird flew through him. What's the punchline? The There's got to be a punchline for this, right? He was worried because he had been invited for dinner at Zemazeep's house, cloud. and he didn't want to be late. Uh, don't get your head in the clouds, because because then you're not thinking in the moment. Zema was a proud Zeke who cooked days in advance for special dinners, so it was especially important for the wild Zeke to be prompt. It's a fucking... <laughs> it's the Utat destruction noise. It's like fucking... Stock sound the effect. The wild Zeke couldn't steer the cloud he swallowed and wondered if it would ever land. He was not a wild Zeke with a fondness for heights. Oh, I thought it was the Utat. So it's the, um, cloud, the Carlin Neskar. Yeah, there it is. Easy. What's the Utat? Oh, that was from um, Captain's Holiday, right? The Ferengi, they were looking for it. And, and, and the captain was wearing like a cock over speedo. To Tessie Turdig's house, where he found her doing her fifty push-ups. She was a trebly bug. It's a Captain Picard thing. It's Star Trek. I'm talking about Star Trek. This is disgusting. So needed to stay in shape. <sighs> At seventy-three hundred feet, sap beetles were plentiful, juicy and sweet, perfect for an appetite such as hers. I just find this Why game repulsive. Wild Zeke? Cried Tessie as he hovered near her door. You have become plump and gray, and I have never, ever known you to float through the air. Usually, you leap, hop, and skedaddle up my tree to visit me.
Okay. Oh. I know. Said the wild Zeep unhappily. It was my great misfortune to have swallowed a cloud early this morning. I don't know where I'm heading or when I land, and it's sure to be a dark day. Well, I believe, said Tessie practically, the cloud in your belly is making you act and feel like a cloud and affecting the mood of everyone around you. Okay, all right, so what's the joke or what's the moral? True, True enough. enough. Uh, when the wild Zeep looked I down, said, get him go he somewhere. Else. He's miserable. He's going to go someplace else. Now, now as, as you, know, you know, usually the wild Zeke was a lighthearted, sky larking creature skipping about, singing, or playing one of his 72 violins. He would offer freely his foolproof Zeke wisdom to any creature who needed it. Uh, we all knew this. 72 violins, we knew that, as you know. Everybody knows the rules, 72 and violins. around 4.30 in the afternoon, he would begin whipping up a delicious banana rhubarb crisp. Or I hate him. Apple sop soup topped with orange rind and ginger butter. I, I hate any I, I hate him. by after dusk to chat. Most folks would find themselves grinning at the mere sight of the wild sea. There was no doubt that being a cloud was contrary to the nature of the wild sea. Tessie the Treblu bug was beginning <laughs> to feel a little testy, so she hastily bid farewell to the wild Zeep, who continued to wander in a westerly direction. <laughs> he had a bad spell, uh. caught in the afterdraft of a helicopter, where he spread so thin he nearly disappeared, coughing and spitting up the fumes. <laughs> <laughs> How strange to be so light, and yet so somber, the wild Zeke thought to himself grimly. Thin! A wild Zeke! He said, for speaking out loud to himself had helped him through many a bad spot in his past. What would great-grandfather Zeke do in a spot like this? Probably not eat clouds to start with, asshole. He recalled the story his great-grandfather told him about the time he'd been practicing goose and swan dives <laughs> and was caught in the ferocious current of the Stormy Kill River. Great-grandfather just let his zeep body flow with the current till he wound up safely on shore a few hundred miles away from his home. These graphics are un unbelievable. He gritted his teeth till he realized clouds don't have teeth. <laughs> he tried heading north. <laughs> That's a funny most story, Mark. Along, till he realized clouds are pushed along. You want to order by pizza, wind. Tommy? When no wind blew, yeah. the wild Zeep hunched up I in already the air, ordered feeling one. sorry for himself, angry at <laughs> the cloud which had lodged itself in his belly, and worried about missing Zema Zeep's dinner. Say Zeep one more motherfucking time. <laughs> The sorrier, angrier, and more worried he grew, the more like a cloud he grew. Other clouds began pushing toward him and bumped, bullied, shoved, rolled, and lumped, smack blam right into the wild zeep. This, this has got to be ending soon. Whoa, these scary cloud faces. Hey, Bob cried the wild Zeep. What do you think you're doing? A mean, tough-looking cloud said. You talking to me? That's just the Another narrator. Another <laughs> cloud jeered. What kind of cloud are you, anyway? All the clouds began pushing and shoving until the poor me? wild Zeep, well, he was fit to burst. First, he gratuitous lens flare. Gertie, Gertie, the wild Zeep split into a million raindrops and was falling, 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 kerplop. 
right down to earth in Zemma's garden where she was picking a few ripe plum tomatoes for her famous specially fresh scarlet salad. This salad contained beets, tomatoes, radishes, rhubarb, Burst, apples, yeah, there's a, a bursted nurse here. And other assorted fruits and vegetables. Vegetable vegetables. Zemma, known for the calm way about her, looked with no surprise. I'm just waiting for the punchline. Landed amidst a bunch of cabbages. Did you see that storm that just whipped through? That was a doozy. But you're looking thin, a wild sheep. Zemma said concerned. From Long Island. Over her fancy spectacles. After giving oh, him a peck on God. the cheek, she said. Come on in for some creamy almond corn soup that'll set you straight. Then we can exchange recipes and chat with my other guests this evening, Mr. Zeppelbrum. Mr. Zeppelbrum was a lily farmer who lived oh, right up the road. He was voice. famous for his mighty appetite and was especially partial to Zemma's creamy soups. He had only one fear in the world. He was a bit scared of heights. So he wore a large hat to avoid looking at the sky. So punchline coming up. Well, until dessert. At first, both guests declined her famous buttercream cloud cake, which looked and tasted just like a cloud. And then he turned into another cloud. Da -da -da the end. What? Exclaimed Zemma. No dessert. Unheard of in this house. Mr. Zeppelbrum claimed to be absolutely stuffed to the chin, but the wild Zeep bravely took spoon in hand to try the delectable confection. I can't wait for this to be over, but I, 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 for just I a have moment, to see it through. The wild Zeep had a spell of dizziness, but this soon passed. Quite relieved to be still on solid earth, the Wild Zeep praised their talented hostess by reciting his finest poetry in her Pop honor. Pop filter, motherfucker. Red Have red. you heard of one? Violets are blue. Some poems rhyme. But this one doesn't. Oh, God. That's the frog. Zemma Zeep was listening so intently, she polished off the whole buttercream cloud cake. <laughs> and that night had wonderful dreams of flying between the stars. B uh, missed opportunity to use the word betwixt. Welcome to Sunday Night Trash Story Time. That what? That was it? There was no payoff, no punchline, no story. Giggle Bone Gang World Tour. We're, we're going to do another Giggle Bone. Elroy demo. Fuck is. Oh, never mind. That was a scary moment. To the pyramids! No, that's the way to the Inca Temple, darling. Uh, uh, are we lost? Oh, no. <laughs> this world touring would be a lot easier with a map. What, oh, what was uh, that? Uh, Rapu, <laughs> at your service. Oh my, a tiger. Bengal tiger, to be precise, madam. You fellows seem to be, shall we say, lost. And it just so happens that I have a world map. <laughs> Perhaps you will allow me <laughs> the honor of guiding you to my favorite places to uncover the magic and mystery of our wondrous planet, the firework dragon oh, God. of China. The Stained for his creatures in the mighty sumo wrestlers of Oh, all oh, that stuff sounds really, really fun. Oh, it sure does, honey. Here is my beautiful world map. Oh, I can't wow. wait to learn about the world on the Don't most surface level possible. 
and <laughs> away we go. Oh, it's it's uh, well, it's not letters. Egypt. Egypt. We're gonna start We're with Egypt. On our way. <laughs> Egypt, land of the pharaohs, and boy, are you in for a few surprises here. Hey, Scout, do you fancy helping Chester figure out a building muddle? The what now? <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, let's go. What? Hey, uh, wait a sec. We'll be playing in no time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, building boy. muddle. Hey, here we are in Egypt, where it is really, really hot and dry. So, uh, people, plants, and animals all need to use the Nile River in order to, uh, um, thrive. Yeah. <laughs> this frog is in Take denial. Belly, and I'll get you seeds to plant, then uh, water them with water from the Nile to grow food for people and animals. But hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. watch out people for and animals and other people. wild creatures. Yep. Oh, we gotta look out. Yep. What are we doing? All right. Suffering. Uh, this is for irrigating the field. Uh, irrigate. That is like the word for watering, you know. Yeah, yeah. You need to give the seeds plenty to drink. <laughs> oh, those plants were thirsty. Okay. Endless we feed the trash. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Wanna? Hey, hey, no. Who can swim? Going through um, a tour of the world with your this frog as your guide. Uh, just, just stay home. You don't need to hey. learn. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yummy. Want to grow carrots? Well, you gotta plant them first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, want to grow carrots? Ahmed, the farmer. <laughs> he just produced a human. <laughs> Hey, hey Ahmed. help Ahmed plow his field. Yeah, Ahmed. Hey, it's Ahmed's camel. That's a that's <laughs> a 3D camel that was made in, in a computer. Want to load up Ahmed's camel and get him ready for market? Oh boy. Oh boy. These will turn into limes if you. We just. I'm starving. Spawn everything. Oh. Similar mechanic. Okay, so the lizard. Who eats the lizard? What what happens now? I just. They, they, okay. I don't know what's happening anymore. Ahmed, do you need this rabbit for any reason? <laughs> Someone just said, keep clicking the frog. He is dying. That was a, a oh, moment. Oh, wow. Oh, more water. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, more water. <laughs> hey, you can pick the stuff. Sure you can. Or, uh, oh, oh. Hey, neat. <laughs> I why am I doing this? Why am I continuing oh, wow. oh, to do oh, this? Wow. Oh, more water, please. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey. hey, you can pick the stuff. Look at it. It's ripe. Ripe for the picking. Tingles ripened rupee rosy land. Okay. Tedious as fuck game. We we put all the veggies and fruit in the in the basket, and then Ahmed takes takes it away. Wow, is that how you ride a camel like that? Like you sit like that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, that's how you do it? I don't know. Hey, see you later, alligator. On the Nile, crocodile. <laughs> Fuck off. That was worse than my joke. <laughs> That Ahmed is quite a character, isn't he? <laughs> but what else would you like to do while we're here? There's like too much to do. All right, let's check him out. Yeah, Ahmed said hey, nothing and please. did almost Just nothing. Just getting ready. Mm -hmm. The desert, the pyramids. 
Doesn't it make you want to sing? You know it makes me want to shout! Make the pants. There, I mean, compared to that last game I played, that last dumpster fire, there's like so much more in this. <laughs> I'll be humming that one for a while. Let's try something new. We're off to Ghana! Look at that, you get, like, different pictures. We are in Ghana. Help me introduce the Gigglebone gang to the locals. They don't How need to know about the Gigglebone gang. Creepy crawlies. Choose me Zero. to find out. Zero good. So brave. Spiders, beware. We are coming through. Are you sitting comfortably? <laughs> then, when it's all ready, we'll begin. Mm -hmm. Huh? Long ago, in Fucking West gross. Africa, there lived a clever but lazy spider named Anansi, who had two sons, strong legs and soft belly. One day, as Anansi switched Is that in his spider laying so like in a sexy pose or is a I regret saying that. Down, grabbed Anansi with the sharp claws and carried him way up to the treetops. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Anansi yelled down to his two sons below. Hey, boys! Notice anything unusual about this picture? But his sons were not known for their razor sharp intellect. Strong legs picked up a stone and threw it at the falcon, hitting the bird right between the eyes. Off it flew in a startling state. Wait, a spider threw that stone? Anansi dangling from the very top of Spiders the Spiders can throw? Nice job, bozo! Now how am I supposed to get down? Spiders uh, are from New York? I know! I know! I know! Cried Soft Belly. Working hard to please his father, he laid down next to the tree. Uh, a jump, Dad! Yeah, you can land on my big fat belly! <laughs> what are you, crazy? I'm too high up! Go find me a banana! I got an idea! The what? sons set out in search of a banana, but soon returned empty handed, for the banana season had ended in their part of the world. So, what do you want to no do with that banana? Here, that means you gotta look elsewhere! Find somebody who can scout them out for you! Ah, uh, right, said Strong Legs, though he wondered why his father wanted a banana at all. Too afraid to ask him, the brothers went in search of a scout. But who in the garden can scout for bananas? The young spiders didn't know. Could you help them find somebody? I don't really, no, I'm good. I don't need more gameplay. Hmm. I'm not allowed to wander off. I wouldn't know a banana if it bit me, but uh, don't spread it around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, you could ask one of these crows, but I wouldn't count on them. A banana scout, huh? Well, you're gonna need somebody who can fly. I mean, get up real high. How would you know that that was there unless you just randomly... Yeah. I can't click the crow. You know what? We don't, we don't need the end of the game, story. Then. I'm feeling like th there's no positive Look end to this. The spider spiders just live. <laughs> Only joking. I want to go to uh, Japan. I want to learn about anime. Want, choose the red quit button once again. Just so we can be sure. Or, uh, hey! Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no, I want to go back to the world map. I love how it hurts one's eyes.
The game hurts wow. your brain and your eyes. Let's go to Japan, to everybody. Japan! Japan! <laughs> Here we cool. And yet, I keep hey, clicking the frog. Sec, it's my own goddamn fault. No time. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> you know what we get to do? <laughs> we get to create Make anime. our own Japanese garden. <laughs> yeah, with special rocks and tiny trees called bonsai trees. Oh, I hate and, the frog. Uh, uh, some origami animals. <laughs> oh, I hate oh the those frog. are made with folded paper. Yeah, yeah, true. Cross my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Click on my belly, and we'll see how green your thumbs are. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, the ladle is for watering the tree. Hey, <laughs> this tree... Apply water. Receive instant growth. Beautiful. Oh, I've got nothing left! I'll feed Sayonara! Oh, <laughs> that's Japanese for see ya. <laughs> Come on, let's find the others, okay? What a garden. I Good choice, picking your old pal Chester. Mix and match is just coming up, champ. Hold tight. <laughs> Chester's a burglar. Hey, Skipper. Today is the big boy's day fish hunt. Japanese honor their young sons with paper carp kites, which they hang on bamboo poles. Is this Sekiro roof. again? Just press go, and we're ready to start. Go! Okay, then. I need you to help. Where do it's this fucking match? game again. Every one of these giggle bone nonsense things has one of these match the thing. I'm good. Good going all around, Scout. We'll come carp fishing again soon, huh? He always manages. Oh, I gotta see well, what, what all the characters do. Pig. You chose me. Click the Darling, song. Why do you want the song? All right. We, oh boy, that song is. The songs are gonna be amazing, aren't they? Hey, you sugar pie. The fantastic island nation of Japan is our next port of call. So let's flex those fib finding fingers and play. Velma's fact or fib. Okay, I'm ready to learn. Be sure to keep your eyes and ears peeled. Oh, you know, Japanese culture, sumo wrestlers, old ladies, and bathtubs. Japanese facts. Click on any one and we'll get moving. And bl Blade Runner and Pufferfish as well. This may kind of look like a giant beehive, but it's not. No, it's called a capsule hotel, and it has some of the smallest rooms in the world. In Japan, you see, some people, um, mainly businessmen, actually spend <laughs> the night in these tiny little itty bitty rooms. Now, what do you say, doll? Am I feeding no, you? No, that's a fact true. That's that's real. I mean, we're starting old... to get some of that in the U.S. It's true. Yeah. You see, Japan has hotel. some of the most crowded cities on Earth, and capsule hotels help save on space. They have those too. While giving lots of businessmen and like inexpensive places to sleep. Like Godzilla-themed sex hotels. These teeny little hotel rooms are just big enough to lie down in. But even though they're tight quarters, doesn't mean they skimp on comfort. Oh no, sirree! Each one comes equipped with its own reading light, a radio, and even a mini TV. Okay. Click on any picture and I, I want to learn about the best. Did you know What's... that many Japanese people are allergic to water? Fact. Instead what? of a regular bath, they invented a dry cleaning <laughs> powder that helps them avoid water altogether. Now you tell me, doll. Could is you that imagine? A fact, or is that a big Could you fib? imagine? <laughs> Could you, you sure fucking imagine? A fib, people just you? clean Truth with is, sand. Japanese love water just as much as you and me. Especially baths. Fact. Long soakers are so popular, they have public baths that was a you can soak with your friends. These baths are as big as swimming pools, only the water's really hot, and there is no swimming allowed. Swimming allowed, huh? Click on any one, and we'll uh, get moving. Teach me about Granny Cream's this hot butter ice cream. This lady a diving fisherwoman of Japan. She dives down more than 100 times a day to collect abalone from the rocks beneath the sea. Sea baloney? Why, did you know that in Japan only a woman could be an ama? Now, is that the gospel pumpkin? Or am I handing you a nice big old fib? That's too specific to be fa uh, false. I'm going to say that's fact. 
Correct the moose, sweetie. Oh, that is nice work. Fact is, girls Fact have is. been diving off the coast of Japan for more than 2,000 years. And the reason's not the, the just The pig is rubbing either. off on me. Oh, no. Now I'm saying fake. See, our bodies make us gals better suited for that line of work. We can handle the effects of working in cold water a lot longer than most men. Man. <laughs> Go on and pick a fact. <laughs> I want to learn about Jap- I want to learn about Japan from a southern sentient talking pig. What's wrong with that? The Japanese people eat lots of interesting foods, but there is one traditional delicacy that is very dangerous. It's a type of sushi called puffer fish or fugu. Puffer fugu. fish are poisonous, and if you eat the wrong part of them, it could kill you. Fact? Yep, that's or fake. Fib, darling. That's, that's right. Honey. Holy that's Toledo, right, honey. that is right. Yes, you are right. The Japanese do eat puffer fish. But fugu is best prepared by expert chefs who are specially trained to separate the poisonous parts from the good stuff. Yep, yep, yep. So you yep. have to be careful. That's real. That's very real. Um, I got to learn about all of these things. These are all fascinating. Some Japanese grow bonsai forests inside their homes. Bonsai. <laughs> sometimes things can get so crowded with all those trees that they have to move the furniture up into the branches. Okay. Now, honey, come on. Am I pulling the wool over your eyes, or is the be a little more subtle well, here. Fib finders working like a charm. Good job. See, bonsai means bonsai. tiny tree, <laughs> and it's a special art form in Japan. This game is See, giving me the giggle fits. What would normally be a the giggle bone tree, gang, I get it. And they trim it and prune it so that it stays small. So small, in fact, that you can hold it in your hand. Why, they can even grow teeny tiny apple trees that bear fruit. I mean, she's not the, uh, she, she's not the frog. Click on any picture, and off we go. This fella here, he's a Japanese sumo wrestler. Now, sumo wrestlers have a special diet, and they have to eat lots and lots of meals a day. And to make sure that they eat enough food, their trainers rub the wrestlers' tummies so they can eat more. Now, what do you think, Lamb Chop? Really? Is that a fact, or is that a fib? They rub the bellies? Uh, chat's saying it's true. I'm going to say it's true. Oh, my, my, you got that exactly right. Yes, sumo wrestlers yeah, yeah. eat a special high-protein diet, and they can weigh up to 380 pounds. I didn't they know need that. to be heavy, too, <laughs> since the idea of sumo wrestling is to try to push your opponent out of the ring. Yeah. See, Pick we learned. And we'll get going. Oh, my sweet angel. Oh, my. Sweet I am angel. just a flutter after all those facts. Why, you could use me as a Japanese man. Right. Go back. But hey, sugar, I say we should go and find the rest of the gang now. Velma, Derp. I can safely say that that was fibtabulous. <laughs> what activity shall we try now, my friend? Uh, nothing to, probably you nothing. You like this stuff, I promise. I don't want to learn more weird stories <laughs> about spiders. I'm good on that. Just getting ready. Mm -hmm. We're in Japan to hear about their delicious food. I know about pufferfish now. I want to be ninja. It's fun to eat and good for you. Japanese rice comes from the countryside. It grows in the water, then it's picked and dried. If we plant it into flour, we can make a holiday <laughs> treat called mochi <laughs> rice cake. Let's have some cake. Holy fuck. And spice, Holy fuck. Tofu, and lots of rice. No comment. Silly me, is it time to go already? I'm really quite hungry now. You Australia? Here we come. <laughs> Don't Australia, mate. Sheep, diamonds, coral, sheep, koalas, and more sheep. <laughs> Australia, the oh, okay. beautiful. Just Wanna those get things. Up close and personal with a few Aussie animals? Choose me. No, I want to. I want to. See what the frog has to say first, of course. Hey, uh, wait a sec. We'll be playing in no time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Woohoo! <laughs> we are at a sheep station in the Australian outback. Woo! <laughs> the outback is the middle of this really, really big country. Yep. Not many yep. people live in the outback. Nope. But nope. there are lots and lots of unusual animals. Yeah, honest. <laughs> Kill frog. Click on my belly and we'll meet some of them. Kill Jester. He's shite. Kill Jester. Who does what? 
Emu. <laughs> kind of like an ostrich. <laughs> Who's this lad? Ah, get away with that. Yeah, Gary the goat. Wanna herd something with the sheepdog? There he is. How you doing, mate? What's his name? What, what, what was the other? What was the other one's name? Uh, Gary the goat, and then there was uh. Who buries themselves? Hmm. Like Someone the cunt. Frill neck lizard. <laughs> Kevin the Wanna cunt. There run? you go. <laughs> it's pretty funny. There you go, mate. <laughs> Drowned lizard. That's <laughs> where we get wool for um. You can't ride. No, don't try to ride an emu, you weirdo. Wanna herd? Wanna herd something with the sheepdog? I'm good. Hey, you wanna leave the outback? Okay, let's find the others. Come on. Where's the Siggy butt brain? Just looking at the outback makes me thirsty. Whee! Off we go! Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. There's going to be a didgeridoo, isn't there? Some days I like to imagine I'm a different animal, and there's plenty to choose from in Australia. Would you rather be a cockatoo or an emu? Or maybe you would like to be a kangaroo. There's lots of funny animals out in the bush who live in the land down under. Would you rather Is this be Australia a music? Tame Impala Origins. The one that makes you smile. He lives in the land down under. On the land, in the sea, down a hole or up a tree. We're living in the land down under. We're living in the land How down under. How about finding under. Rapunzel and the others? King Gizzard's just going to throw that on the new record. Was a Unchanged, and everyone's going to think it's compare. genius. No, maybe you can choose another. Good choice, buddy. Mix and match is just coming up. Champ. Oh, I don't never All want tight. to do mix and match. Never mind. Good eye, Koba. <laughs> that was worse Good than my eye, Australian Mike. accent. Come back that soon. was way worse than mine. That's some collection of... Oh, honey blossom, I'm very flattered. Thank you. At least give me that, chat. At least Darling, give me that I, I said well, keeping the cotton a little bit better than that, mate. Sorry, I'll, Australia's I'll, I'll stop. Great Barrier Reef is just bursting with some of the world's wildest creatures. So grab your snorkel gear, darling, and let's all play. Velma's Fact or Fib. Okay. Um, I don't know. Go on lot. and pick it's, a fact. It's, and what's we'll, this one? These fellas are called sponges. They swim around in big schools, and they act like a natural car wash for fish who happen to swim through them. Wiping them down, cleaning their scales. Oh, most fish come out of a school of sponges squeaky clean. Now give me your opinion. Is that a fact or is that a fib? I, I don't know. I don't, I think, it, yes. Oh. oh, honey, I got you this time. Sponges are animals, but they don't swim in. They don't swim in what? It's false. No way. Not this time. We created it. Not this time. Um, um. Click on any picture and we see that beautiful Australian beach. Why, the parrotfish actually helps make that sand. Yeah! It uses its beak like mouth to nibble on coral, and after all the rock passes coral? through its system, it, uh, well, it comes out the other end as bits of white sand. Now, does that sound like fact or a fib? It's, it's poop. You are absolutely right. Yeah, they're really our parrot fish, and they really do eat coral. Huh. Fact: They eat so much coral that one little parrot fish can poop out one ton of limestone a year. <laughs> now that's a whole lot of sand. Whoa, whoa! You didn't right. have to use the word poop. I'll use that word. I'm the professional here. Okay. Come on now, pick a fact. Okay. This here is what you call your Portuguese man of war. You see, that big thing sticking out of the water is filled with air to help him float. And he drags along those huge poisonous tentacles to catch fish and other sea animals. Now, what do you say? Is that a fact or is that a fib? I, that's really disturbing in some weird way. I don't know why, but yeah, I think it's real. Oh, my goodness, you got it exactly right. And not only that, 
these man o wars shoot out teeny tiny barbs from their tentacles that are so poisonous they could kill a person. Or pig, too, for that matter. Well, that's fine. How about a frog? Can they kill Pick a frog? On anyone. Oh, glory, oh my, oh my. A reef full of facts and I'm all washed up. So what do you say let's head for the beach and dry off and join the others? Wow. Velma, your knowledge knows no Aussies, boundaries. how do you survive okay, going friend. to, like, Please the store? Please choose another activity, eh? Yeah, where's Brazil? Is Brazil here? I, I, I've been told to come to Brazil several times. Let's consult the map. That's the clever way to travel. This map is magnificent, no, don't you think? <laughs> I, I couldn't, I couldn't come to Brazil. Sorry. Use. I tried, everybody. I'm just going to listen to a couple songs now. So we're going to switch off of this very soon. Great. Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. Hold tight. We're going to meet a real life. Moscow, Moscow. Sasha is a soldier. He works at the Kremlin. And he helps the tourists. Traditional Russian song. Sasha is amazing, and also I love the SpongeBob font. <laughs> it makes it seem so welcoming. It's just soldiers and like fucking bread lines. Actually, this is 1997, so this is this is a little bit past the bread lines, so never mind, but holy fuck. Hey, wait up, oh. Bobon gang! What an incredible bird! How shall we follow that? Can you choose? We're off to China! <laughs> Vinny, I've been watching you play these games tonight, and I just wanted I to know, know when exactly Only did you give up on life? One billion people, that's a lot. And now there's a billion and six. You, me, and the Gigglebone gang. Wanna meet a fire-breathing dragon? Ho-ho, <laughs> choose me! All right, let's check them out. Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. Mm-hmm. Let's do some Chinese Tai Chi. Here we Don't go. Know how? I can show you. In the morning, children like to play and get ready to start their busy day. They walk to school as the traffic rushes. There they practice writing with their brushes. Hey, rhymed. They do Tai Chi <laughs> like the grown-ups do and learn music and dances. School is fun, and so is Tai Chi, everybody. But you know, there's another song in this game. It's it's. I just found out it's hidden, and it's the next song. Watch, I'll show you. You ready? Here it is. Okay, we'll go. But come back soon! Wonderful Chinese children! But whatever shall we do now? I guess we're gonna click on the fucking frog. Hey, uh, wait a sec! We'll be playing in no time! <laughs> hey, hey there! We are in China, celebrating the new year with a magic fireworks dragon. <laughs> now in China, oh, that's what you meant. every year is fireworks. named after an animal. Oh yes, honest, yep. Whoa! Oh, look out, lips! Look God out, damn it! Tongue. I was hoping that look would kill the frog. Me. Here it comes! <laughs> the rabbit is lucky, and <laughs> oh, <laughs> rat! The horse is rat. handsome <laughs> and popular. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, we need to make. Mate, mate, what the fuck is happening? I'm hungry! Woo! Woo! Ah, ah. The Gropics! 
see some amazing. Now, if you. Hmm. Food, glorious food, yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, there's a deep hatred. Can you make an all green bunny fireworks show? Yeah. Time to go so soon. Ha, okay. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Someone needs to help me. Someone help me make a what game or mod a game where I can kill the frog, please. I myself was born. Good for you. Using the map. My hunger is maximum. Lost. So many places, so little time. Choose a place and off we go. Yes, we'll go to Mexico. Ho! Mexico. Oh! Mexico. A ho You'll like this stuff, I promise. Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing I had color film in my camera. Mexico is so colorful. These are the colors of Mexico. Rojo y blanco y verde. Red, white, and green are the colors you've seen. Well, that's an easy one. Just stick to the colors of the flag. That's fine. Azul blue is the color of our skies of water. More or less what Red I expected. Monkey Sue has an eye for a colorful picture and an ear for a colorful tune. Good One for more you. song. Using the map to not get lost. I mean, the songs are, they're trying to, you know, One, do nice little songs one, about friend. the world for kids. They're doing, Off they're doing their best. Norway! Aha! <laughs> uh -huh. Whee! Off we go! Hang on, please. We're just getting ready. Joel's not from Norway. <laughs> I've been boating around Norway jo with my Joel camera. does not like Norway. Just wait till I show you the photos. If you want to see all the sights of Norway, you're gonna have to float, so you better take a boat. If you want <laughs> gonna to have to float, so you better take a boat. Mountains, it's a lovely trip, but you better take a ship. You better take a shit. No, I know it. I know what she said. That's not even a real beard. That was not even a real beard. That was faker than Lord of the Rings. Did, did you see the bootleg Gandalf? Look at this motherfucker. This is like, this is Radagast the Yellow. This is Crustacil. Crustagast. Greg, someone just wrote Grandalf. All right, then. Keep your secrets. All right. I think I've had enough of this game. I think, um, you know, there's another even bigger Gigglebone game, but I'll save it, and I'll bust it out at the appropriate time. Not tonight. Not tonight. We'll do something else. I do have one called Plot of the Cyberhead, which is a, a recommended game. Very recommended game. So we're going to check that one out before I stop this nonsense segment. Okay. Lower this a bit. And plot of the cyberheads. Plural. Oh, okay. But now it says plot of the cyberhead. Huh? These graphics are amazing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, story. Okay. I I'm sorry, this is what now? This is a story. Mega Man is has got legs as an arm. Alien 
of all the alien races that ever looked out and viewed the earth in all its beauty and natural wonders. There were none, wonders. none with enough outright power to take those wonders and plunder that beauty. No pop filter. However, there were those that had enough guile and trickery to do so. So there's a common theme, no pop filters and quality voice acting. And also, this one's got MS Paint, but... Oh, my God. This is cursed. I'm Sergeant Miller. I'm part of the Army's Quick Reaction <laughs> Team. What we do is we help cities battle the ever-rising automated robot and droid crimes. I control a team of ladies <laughs> that are assigned to cities that have a lot of trouble. Why don't you join us on a mission? Team B, drop, drop what, what you're, you're doing. doing. Assemble at the helipad. helipad. There's a lot, a lot of trouble in El Paso. Paso. <laughs> Get down there. Oh. oh, this is incredible. No, no, not us again. Buck is in El Paso. I hope he's okay. T-E, yin-yang, X-A-S. This is, uh, this is really nice so far. Thank you, Sphinx. Linda Chin, Real Time News. Shown here is footage taken late last night of police tactical units rushing to yet another robot disturbance in the industrial robot park. Robert disturbance? Unconfirmed what? reports are that several units are down, including Texas Rangers in what appears to be the most serious attack since last year's raid on the regional data center. Oh. It is rumored that the mayor had requested armored troopers to be flown in. Linda Chin, Real Time News, El Paso, Texas. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, they had a vehicle that was changing colors and glowing. They had, they had that. She said Robert. She had a pop filter, but she said Robert. I didn't get any of the rest of it. The Real Time 7 News looks like 7 Granddad background. What, what, what the fuck is it? And she's looking at her. The El Paso Juarez Metroplex. Population 2 million. Cover that up. Home of some of the world's most high-tech facilities and industries. An irresistible treasure chest of loot for the profiteers of the outlaw economies and the secret cartels of the world, and maybe even beyond. El Paso is also the home of Texas Can rancher... Can I get subtitles, Buck please, Smith, so I can... currently up to his neck in robocrime. Robocrime? <laughs> What? What was it? Well, I'm supposed to understand what just happened? Just destroy my ears, why don't you? Okay, good. That's a Texas Ranger, everybody. Yep, that's, that's what they look like, Texas Rangers. Skin tight. Skin tight. There it is again. Hey, get off my car! Slender. Majestic. Well, the walker did lock on, and it's sending poor Buck on a trip straight to intensive care. This is one of the best things I've ever seen on a Sunday. This is a, a lost fucking piece of gold. Meanwhile, two separate words. Back at Bear Mountain. Sargent, our hard suits are down. I'm afraid you and Ova are on you're on are on your on this one <laughs> are on your on it's very readable too by the way really readable colors and and uh and uh typeface is that just an ass in a mech suit or is that his i don't know if that's the front of the back my suits online signa that 
shell shocked pilot. Let's go. Is that an? A yeah, I guess it isn't. But why would the front? Why? Why would the ass be facing the f like out the front? I don't know. No step. Wow. Wow. They hired some actors for this. Sergeant's fear. I guess they ran out of voice acting budget. Or the, the narrator just died midway through. It's unfortunate. He will be missed. Uh, my suit's up and running. Everything checks out, Sergeant. Everything checks out, s Sergeant. Let's go. I, I can't help feeling that Bucks is in trouble. I should concentrate on the mission, but I just can't. In five minutes, they were on their way. But there was a much different feeling in the air this time. Not the old familiar we're going to kick butt feeling. Familiar. But more like the uh-oh feeling. It's not that they were that much under strain. It's that... The robots and droids that they had been encountering lately had been getting noticeably more smarter, more <laughs> human, and the tech could not or would not explain why. More smarter. We must recover all the energy resources immediately, Mega Man. These? We don't know where they came from. <laughs> we don't know where they're doing. They say they are misfits. Expendable misfits. Crazy Section 8s. But they are the best. It's those jerks that send them on crazy mission after mission. They are... Expendable. Goodbye and good luck. Rogers hated making these emergency runs city after city, but still it allowed him to fly. After being shot down over the pole and in the hospital for 18 months, he was lucky to be alive, let alone flying again. And besides, anything was better than getting your butt what? frozen off back in the Arctic dispute zone. That's why when the alarm went off, he thought it was a flashback. I mean, no one fires a missile at a military aircraft in the continental United States. I mean, no one. The ladies are going to love this. I mean, no one. I didn't get a word of that. I did not get a word of that. Is the dude's name yellow because he has yellow hair? Or is it, is it just say yellow because he's in a yellow part of the... Yellow alert. Okay. Steve Rogers, I guess. Steve Rogers, yellow alert. Sentient missile closing. Wow. That would suck. Achieving sentience mid-flight, knowing that you have to be tail. blown up. Hang on, we're gonna have to use some invasive action. I think it's the same one that shot me over Alaska. We're gonna go. Hang on. Ah! <laughs> Wow! Wow, they got some great, they got some great people to do this stuff. I am going to shit my pants. Hey, I've given the ship everything I got. I don't seem to be able to shake it, Sergeant. You're gonna have to do something. Da Wait, he's got superpowers. Sergeant, I don't know what I'm going to have to do. How about some Krusty Burgers? All right, Sergeant. A missile attack in the United States? This ain't supposed to happen. There must be something really big going on in El Paso. I'm so sorry, what? Can I get some subtitles? 
was actually taking place in El Paso. But I know, yes, it's terrible. All these lower crimes, they're a diversionary tactic. They're a diversionary, I tell you. What they're trying to what do are... is to try to hide the true crime. They're changing the chips. They're changing them. They're putting them in the machinery. And they're going to run this, this terrible thing. They're breaking into our schools and our systems and our laboratories. They're sneaking in. And they're going to put these chips and they're going to run a chaos, chaos crime thing. It, it's going to be terrible. It's going to cause confusion. You, you must stop them. We must reach El Paso. I, I, I think I'm having a bad head day here. Somebody help me. Please, please. <laughs> Hyperdimensional tunnels. They're using hyperdimensional tunneling to, to get into our schools and our laboratories. And they're sneaking in. Is that a in. separate take? Did they not refocus the camera in the center? Why was it off-center like that? All right. Well, we're going to need to... Uh, <clears throat> sorry. What we're going to need to do going forward is you have to realize that now they're just hiring friends and family to do the voice clips. They're just doing... Yeah. That was someone's, like, brother or, or professor. Miller, we have a problem. All the bailed out over the hospital. What? She must have heard that that ranger that got shot up this morning is Buck. Ah, Buck? shoot. I'll send her to Leavenworth for this. Why are you going to jump or you want me to set you down? I said Buck, not Buck. I, I don't hey, understand. Robot lady, I saw the other robots and they came out of there. <laughs> Best actor in the entire game. It could be hyperdimensional. You'd better get in there and check it out. Robo crimes are being committed, everybody. That must be stopped. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh no, I actually have to do something now. It's no use, I can't move. It's no use, I can't move. I'm ready to go. Look, my name's Sergeant Miller. <laughs> I'm control for these girls. Look, I need your help. You see, Look. the sergeant's a section eight. And the corporal, well, she ain't got no experience. Look back down at the script. I need somebody to sort of <laughs> help guide them along the way. And you need a I script for this? So, um, look, we need you to help on the controls, give them some advice from time to time. We're depending on you. Heaven help us. Hey, robot lady, I saw the other robots that came out of there. Literally just saw that. Just saw that. It could be hyperdimensional. You'd better get in there and check it out. That girl is now likely older than I am at this moment. By the way. Do I play? No. I have the hourglass, so I'm not playing. I don't think I'm in our dimension anymore. <laughs> like, I can't even... I, I can't even laugh anymore. I don't think like I'm in our dimension anymore either. I gotta be honest, I don't, I don't feel my dimensionals being inter right now. Okay, genius, which way? I don't know, you want me to press a number? Six, five... Five, six, four, three, yeah, right. Two, one, eight, seven, left, right, go left. Left turn, got, got it. it. Is this some kind of mind control? What are you trying to do? Get me killed? I'm 
I'm supposed to know which buttons to press. I don't think I'm in our dimension anymore. Please, please let me press the button. Please let me get out of this. The beef brain is setting in. Oh, I have to, I have to watch. When you die, you have to watch the whole thing again. Right turn, copy. It's no use, I can't move. 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 I'm ready to go. Well, no, no, Miller. no, stop! I'm no! Control for these girls. Oh, Look, God, what have I, I done? You see, the no. of Section 8. How do I skip? Skip. And the corporal, well, she ain't got no experience. I need somebody to sort of help guide them along the way. And all I got's you. So, um, look. We need you to help on I'm, the controls, give them some I kind of want to see some of this through. I want to see what happens We're next. Hey, robot lady, I saw the other robots that came out of there. I think I might have pressed some buttons, though, while it, it was loading, so now I'm screwed again. You'd better get in there and check it out. Sorry, everybody. This is really quite astounding. This is like 2001 A Space Odyssey level of influential for video games. It's basically Five Nights at Freddy's before Five Nights at Freddy's. Directed by Tommy Wiseau. I don't think I'm in our dimension anymore. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're here again. I'm sorry, everybody. I, all I had to do is press right and not left, and this wouldn't have happened. This is totally my fault. I fucked up. I should have known better. Which way? Okay, which way? Which way? No, is it gonna go right? Try the right. Try the right. Part time. Sushi. That's what my ex-wife called me. Cold fish. What is the three biggest binary access code? <laughs> Give it to me. Is this a baby or an alien? Or die, human. <laughs> uh, three digit binary S one one zero one maybe one zero one the thing is shutting down my life support. Please try another access code. It's zero. Uh, one, one, one zero. You're a genius. I did it. <laughs> I guessed it. <laughs> you men scum. I am programmed to access any being that has the access code. <laughs> and an invasion fleet is on its way. To stop it, you must destroy the other two towers. To do this, you must know the access code to those towers. And I am not programmed to give you that information. I don't know what you're talking about. If you do not stop us, we will distribute what 
wasn't this game about robo crimes just a couple minutes ago? I did. I pressed nothing. I am programmed to access any being that has oh, any access code. Mm. An invasion fleet is on its way. To stop it, you must destroy. This is one of the worst things I've ever played. I, I went from this being one of the best things I've ever played to one of the worst. You must know. It's glitched. It's just straight up glitched. I want to, uh, I'd rather watch tonight's Game of Thrones episode four more times in a row than, than watch this again. When the invasion fleet arrives, it will find a chaotic and defenseless oh, I'm shitting on it hard tonight. I know. I know. I know what I'm doing. Now hurry up before I shit myself! We shit the pants. We shit the pants. That's right. We shit the fiddly fiddly foodly diddly pants. Any suggestions? This Any suggestions? Yeah, the suggestion is is stop glitching and let me press the button. Fuck. Do we go backwards? If I, I look, if we went back, I'm quitting. What is the code? I'm done. I can't play this anymore. I can't do it. It's it's too it's bad. It's glitched. I can't play it. I can't even, I can't even hit this exit. I can't even escape. Hey, I'm giving the ship everything I got. I don't seem to be able to shake it. Sergeant, you're gonna have to do something. Do something, get it off my tail! Look at all these bonus materials. Wow, there's a lot of bonus materials. The world, I wanna just read and, and see if there's any uh, spelling errors. Why is there so much of this? The European kids were playing American football. What a, what a story, Mark. Trouble shooting. Um, n none of these are helpful. <laughs> Read the journals and reports for access and destruct codes. Begin with zero numeric readout. Oh, so we we saw enough of this. I'm I'm sure there's some more story, but you have to go through a bunch of bullshit and just enter a bunch of random numbers. Stop. Did you really expect to Stop. Be us? <laughs> oh my, Mr. Freeman. I saw one one zero. There it is, one one zero. $100,000 of virtual reality hardware. He stayed there for five years, jacked into the net through his satellite dish. Apparently it got real bizarre. So bizarre that he ended up in the psycho ward. 
I thought it said psycho world. I thought that was like a, a virtual reality term. He would live in the online game worlds. He just came out to eat and poop. Everything was wonderful. Almost paradise until he walked into the wrong system. Then all hell broke loose. I feel that way, actually, yeah. There's a comet that hit Jupiter. What? <laughs> Fuck you, what? I don't know what's going on here um, in the gameplay section, but I, I absolutely hate it. But hey, we got some good content out of it. There was some good story mode, wasn't there? Did we all have fun? Did you have fun? I had fun. I'm done with PC CD-ROM software. What did I call this? Uh, CD-ROM crust pack. That was awful on every level. I still have one more giggle bone gang for another time. And I'm going to eventually play it, but... Uh, was this game sold for money? I don't know. It might have been. Well, we're going to take a BRB. We're going to take a break, and I'll be back with Elmo 64, which is going to be good. It's going to subvert your expectations, everybody. And then after that, we'll do some grab bag garbage. Who knows what we're going to get? But it's from someone that makes good garbage collections. Um, stick around. But before I do that, I want to show you. I want to show you. I got a, uh, a cool birthday gift, and I made a little video to go with it. Here comes the cowboy. Here comes the cowboy. I got that apparently. I have it. It's it's cologne, I guess. It's it's in it's in the shape of a boot. I'm very pleased. Very pleased with it. Stick around, we'll be right back.